Today, we will answer a math challenge given by one of our followers. And the question goes like this. Given this equation, a squared minus 99a equals 99, then the goal is to evaluate this expression, a raised to the fourth power plus a squared plus 1, all over a cubed plus 1. Pause this video right now and see if you can answer this question because I will show you the solution in 3, 2, 1. So, in this question, the goal is to evaluate this expression involving a given this equation a squared minus 99a equals 99. Now, our solution here is not solving for the value of a, then after getting the value of a, replace all of this a and evaluate this expression. Of course, that method works, but in this video, we will use what we call algebraic manipulation. And to do that, we will simplify first the expression that we want to evaluate. So let's get this a raised to the fourth power plus a squared plus 1 all over a cubed plus 1. Now the denominator, we have a cubed and this 1, we can write this as 1 cubed. So we can apply the sum of two cubes to factor this out nicely. Again, 1, we can replace this as 1 cubed. So we can apply this identity to factor our denominator. So if we do that, we get a plus 1 multiplied by a squared minus a plus 1. And this is now the factored form of our denominator. Now, the big question is how about the numerator? And this is the hard part. So let's get our numerator. And in order to factor this out, we will use one method. And that method is called the add and subtract method. Because we need to add and subtract a squared in this expression. And why we do that? Because if we add a squared minus a squared, this is just 0. And the good thing is when we add a squared plus a squared, this is just 2a squared. And this expression is just a perfect square trinomial. So we can apply this identity to factor this out. So a raised to the fourth power plus 2a squared plus 1, we can factor this out nicely as a squared plus 1 quantity squared. So this is the value of a raised to the power, power plus 2a squared plus 1. Now from here, we have a number raised to the power of 2 minus another number raised to the power of 2. So we can apply now the difference of two squares. And we can factor this out nicely using this identity as follows. We have a squared plus 1 plus a multiplied by a squared plus 1 minus a. Now, simplifying this or rearrange some terms a little bit, the first factor is just a squared plus a plus 1, and the second factor is just a squared minus a plus 1. And this is the factored form of our numerator. So we can replace our numerator with its factored form like this. Now, take note. We have a common factor, a squared minus a plus 1 on the numerator and on the denominator. So we can cancel this out because this is just 1. Now, our expression, this is our expression, and this simplifies to a squared plus a plus 1 over a plus 1. Now, here comes the given equation comes into play. Because if we add 99a on both sides, we have a squared equals 99a plus 99. Now, factor out 99, we have 99 multiplied by a plus 1. And we want the value of a squared plus a plus 1. So what we're going to do is to add a plus 1 to a squared, add a plus 1 on both sides. And now, we have a plus 1 and we have a plus 1 with a factor of 1. So the right-hand side is just 100 multiplied by a plus 1. And this is the value of a squared plus a plus 1. So, the numerator of our fraction is just 100 multiplied by a plus 1. And we can cancel out the factor of a plus 1 on the numerator and denominator. This is just 1. So, our expression is simply equivalent to just 100. And this is our answer to this question. Therefore, Given a squared minus 99a equals 99, then the numerical value a raised to the fourth power plus a squared plus 1 
all over a cubed plus 1 simply equal to 100. And as always, we are done.